have an embedded whiteboard. This whiteboard is great for in-classroom instruction. However, we realize right now that schools are doing distance learning and students are at home rather than in the classroom. So I want to share with you a whiteboard that would be a great solution for distance learning. This is the Google Jamboard. The Google Jamboard is a part of the G Suite for Education environment and can be used on any computer. I'm demonstrating it on the panel here. To access Google Jamboard, you can select the waffle here and find Jamboard. Here you can see I have some Jamboards that are already created. I'm going to start by showing you a new whiteboard here. To do so, I'm going to select the plus sign in the bottom right, and it's going to bring me to a blank canvas. Now, with the Google Jamboard, it allows for free writing. I can write all over this whiteboard. Now, up at the top, you can see there are different background options. I can add in some lined paper, some graphing paper, as well as change the background color. Now, on the side, there are a couple of different tools that you can use. At the top, there is the pen, so I can touch on that, pick the specific stylus that I want, then I can pick a color, and with my hand, or I should say finger, or a stylus, I can annotate on my whiteboard here. Underneath the pen, you have an eraser. We all pretty much know what that does. Just activate it and I can start to erase some content. There's also the cursor, so any content you have on here you can move around. There's also the sticky note function. Here I can create lots of different sticky notes. I can change the color out here. And these can be used by the teacher or if they are sharing their Google Jamboard through either the link or through Google Classroom, students can use this interactively. So here I can just touch on my sticky note, move it around. I also can touch the corner to be able to move it around as well. Additionally, Google Jamboard gives you the ability to add in pictures. So this picture can be one that's locally saved onto your computer. You can also do a Google image search so if I wanted to look at the frog life cycle, it's going to do a Google image search for that. I can touch on the image I need, press select, and it will add it in from there. And again, just like any other picture where I can touch the corner and adjust the size as well. What I have seen during this distance learning uh, time that's going on is some teachers are actually integrating Google Slides with Google Jamboard. And the reason they do that is Google Slides does not allow for you to freehand annotate over your content. So what you can do is actually take your Google Slide and save it as an image and bring it into the Jamboard here. I'll show you how you can do that. So here I have my Google Slide up. I'm going to select File and download, and then I'm going to save as a JPEG. Once I do that, you can see down here at the bottom, it's going to bring up my saved copy. And over on the, the right side, I'm just going to select Save As. I can change the file name if I want to. I'm okay with this one. And I'm going to add it to my Google Drive and select Save. Now that I have saved this slide as an image, I'm going to go back to Google Jamboard. Now, this page is all covered for this slide, so I'm going to just add another one. Just use the cursor at the top or the arrow. Now I'm going to select on image again. But now you can see I have the option for my Google Drive. So as long as I'm logged into my Google account on Google Jamboard, I'll be able to access this. I'm going to go ahead and select Recent, because that's the way I can find everything. Touch on my image, press select, and now I can add this in. Now it is an image, so I can touch on it, the bottom corner here, and I can adjust the size as well as move it around. This way, if I now touch on the pen again, 
I can freehand annotate on top of that content. Again, this is part of the G Suite for Education, so Google Jamboard can be shared to Google Classroom, or you have that share link at the top that you can send out to your students and they can annotate on here as well. You also have on the left side the shapes tool, so you can select any of those shapes you need. Up at the top is the, the outline as well as the fill here, and you can go ahead and put that on there too. Underneath the shapes, you have the T for text, so you can create a text box here. This might be helpful because not every student has a touchscreen device. So they can't necessarily annotate and draw over your content. If you add in a text box, they can easily type in an answer from their device. Lastly, down at the bottom here, we have what looks like a lightning bolt. That's going to be a laser. If I touch on that and draw on here, you'll see that it temporarily writes on the screen. So this is great for distance learning because you're typically sharing your screen within Google Meet, maybe Zoom, or maybe another platform. And when you tell a student, you know, look over to the left side, they might not know the left and the right. So it gives them a good opportunity for you to say left side and give them a visual cue as well. So that is a rundown of Google Jamboard. Again, it's going to be cloud hosted whiteboards that you can share with your, within your environment, whether you're using Google Meet, Zoom, or another platform. It also allows for you to share your content out through Google Classroom. So go ahead and check out Google Jamboard on your New Line panel.